In the last section we talked about exponential functions and just like everything else with math, once we learn to go forward we have to go backwards. Well, the backwards of exponential functions are called logarithmic functions. These are the inverses of the exponential. Now the formal definition of a logarithm is this. We have this statement here that says y equals log base a of x if and only if x equals a to the y power. Okay, this is uh, can be a little bit confusing, so we're going to talk about um, this specifically and how it is the inverse of the exponential to begin with. Okay, first of all, I'm not really crazy about the way that they write it this way. I prefer to write it as log base a of x equals y. Now notice that whenever I wrote it this way I said log base b of x equals y. Um, remember when we were talking about the exponential and I said it's very important that you understand the words there, the base, the exponent, all of that business? That's because when it comes to the logarithms we have a base also. That base is a subscript number. It's dropped down just a little bit. Notice that in this notation the log, the x, the equals, and the y, those are all on the same line. They're all same level. This base of a is a subscript. It's dropped down just very slightly in our notation. But what's really cool is the base of the log is still the same thing as the base of the exponential. Look at here what they have. They say if and only if, and again I'm going to write this backwards, a to the y equals x. Notice again the base of the log and the base of the exponential form are the exact same thing. Now you have to be able to switch things back and forth. These themselves are not inverses of, it, of each other. They are um, basically the same thing. This is the logarithmic form of something. This is its exponential form. These are not inverses of each other. Do you remember when we were covering inverses and it, the inverse what came in the form of f of x equals a to the x power? Well, remember f of x is a fancy way of writing y, so that would be y equals a to the x power. This is the exponential function. Let me write that out there. Okay, now notice the difference between the exponential function and this notation. Do you see that the x's and the y's have switched places? These are inverses of each other. So whenever I say the logarithmic form or the exponential form, I'm talking about the exact same thing. If we were going to look at them as inverses, we'd have to literally switch the x and the y places. So exponentials are inverses of logs, but logs have an exponential form. In a way it's kind of like saying instead of saying 1 we could call that 5 over 5. Um, or even better if I said the number 5 then that is a whole number. It also has a rational form. I could write it as 5 over 1 or I could write it as 25 over 5. These are the exact same thing, but this is a whole number form and this is a rational form. That's what I'm talking about. Now to be able to switch them very quickly and easily, look at the base here of the log. We can take the base of the log, raise it to the other side, equals what's left. This is also called the argument of the log, the exposition is. You have to be able to switch things very quickly and easily back and forth from logarithmic form to exponential form because sometimes it's easier to work with one or the other. So we really have to practice that kind of half of a Z motion to be able to switch things from log to exponential form.